Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Let's Play Thief Gold. When we last left off, we were still here in the crypt. Probably going to be here for the next two or three videos as I just try to figure out all the different puzzles and everything else that's going on. I want to go back towards that trap that we saw at the end of the last video and see if I can get into that room. Because it is still on this floor. He is, don't stand anywhere near it! Go across here. We can go down, and we can go up on two facings. Oh. For some reason, I wanted to get really close to that. Because I didn't think that was the same one. That was, in fact, the same one! There's nothing valuable on seems to be either of these ladders. I don't know how to zoom in. I can't zoom in. That's not until the next game. Spoilers for the next game. Okay. Did we hit the next ladder? Have we been in this room? I don't think we've been in this room, although there's treasure on that ladder. Now, the last time I thought one of these guys wasn't a zombie, it was definitely a zombie. And it's a zombie again! Go down. Do us all a favor and stay down. Stop dancing! No more dancing! I said no more dancing! Man, this guy can dance with the best. He's got stamina. Look at him go, baby! He ain't even done! He got more dancing in him yet! And he got a hit on me! Cause I can't hit him from that one side. He still got dance in him! Good lord! Stay down! Don't look at me! He's gonna kill me. He's actually going to kill me. I don't know if I'm impressed or just really angry. Are you done? No! No, he isn't done. Oh, that's not creepy. That's not creepy at all. Well, you go to bed and stay. I'm gonna have to break out a flask to kill this guy. Don't look at me! Put your head back down! Alright, you know what? I ain't got time for this. Jeez, Mr. Indestructible over there. I wonder if I can get a good shot of them from, like, up here, so I can go ahead and use that holy water to hit the rest of these guys. Maybe. No, probably not. Which is the one that has value on it? Must be that one over there. I mean, I could also just ignore him, but where's the fun in that? It actually is this one, I believe. Whoops. Tries to just stand upright like the Undertaker. Gibby!
Alright, we'll ignore him. I don't want to. I don't like leaving people behind. But I also don't want to spend a holy water flask to kill one undead at a level that's got like tens. I could say hundreds, but then I'm being a bit facetious. So where does this lead? Down here! I thought it would lead somewhere we hadn't been before. But apparently I just ignored this route. Cool! Any other reason to go in there? Both of those are alive, I bet. Yes. There's no reason to go in here unless there's something valuable hidden behind those two rocks. I could use a holy water flask to kill three guys right now. I have three flasks. And only 13 arrows. Ah, flash for three kills, but at the same time there are kind of ignorable kills, unless there's something behind those. Let's find out. Go away. Throwing rocks at him does nothing. Can he open doors? Yes, you can! Impressive for a zombie. Right, there's a valuable over there, so let's do it. Pop you like a balloon! Pop. Damn it. I screwed myself with my own rock. Let's try this again. Goodbye, you. Goodbye, you. Oh, like a bad out of hell. And get my final revenge on you. Feeling indestructible still? We need to collect gold, so I mean, it'll be worth it in the end. I still have two holy water flasks, so. What concerns me the most is that flaming guy upstairs. I don't want to hear any snide comments about what I just said. I just realized, yes, I didn't think about that sentence well enough. Shush, you people. Shush. Well, this area is done for then. We can take care of the ladder here. I don't want to hear your groping. Ooh, there is something up here. Judging just by looking at it, I have a fair idea of what this is. I'm guessing the exit. Ooh, that's a long jump, but I might be able to do that. Or maybe not the exit. Maybe it's something more. Went to the Marad family. It's hard to tell which way those things are looking. They have very big heads.
Well, you've snuck around it. It's definitely looking the other way now. It would be easy to kill it. Actually, let's just use a broadhead arrow from a sneak position. That didn't work like it usually does. He's gonna breathe on me and kill me. Or not. Don't know what he was doing in here. And yes, supposedly the horn will quiet them, but... Right. Well, we have to go this way eventually, so there's no time like the present. This way is not safe. It looks safe, but it isn't. This platform is safe. I'll probably take some fall damage, though. <laughs> that one is not safe. And I'm gonna take more fall damage for trying to go across. <laughs> I need to get out of the way quickly. Oh. Hereupon, he whom upon the gaze of the guardian fells shall be destroyed. If they see you, bad things happen. Easy enough to understand. I only have one of these left. Let me use it. Probably could have gone through there a little bit more gracefully, but... It's a sacrifice I made. And we'd make again. I'm waiting to see when the health stops regenerating. So we are now stuck down here, and there goes our last save for that. I feel like going that way means it's gonna see me, but at the same time, I also feel like the arrows are pointing in which way it would actually respond. I'm sure it's less about being destroyed and more about it just fires a projectile at you. Okay. This one's a little bit more creepy. Oh! Hello, Hamrite Undead. I can kind of crawl around you, I think. Be it at a snail's pace. Is it because I stepped into the light? No, this whole area was dark before. And I could not step out of the darkness. The only light sources were over here. So this trap is mostly unavoidable. The Hammerite Undeads are a lot scarier than the regular Undeads because they fight like actual fighters do. And as we've already seen, they're certainly a lot more durable as well. I'm regrettably going to make a quick save here. Could be dangerous because if I have to load for any reason, he might just spontaneously start looking my direction. as I just snail my way across the room here. I don't have the resources to comfortably deal with him. So I won't. What did I get? I got... I believe that's one of the hearts. Where's my objective screen? Yep, 
That's the Mystic Heart. Was that the one that was supposed to be in the Room of Eyes? Yes! Yep. So we can 100% confirm that that guy was dead wrong. I'm gonna save now that I've stolen it and figure out what's in here. Probably nothing. You know. Sucks to be that guy. Ha 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 Look kids, I've made progress. I actually achieved one of my objectives. How much value is that at? That is at 17.05. I should be good in terms of the go minimal gold as soon as I finish my objectives here. Next question. Can I make this leap of faith? alley -oop. I probably can if I get Garrett to a position where he wants to actually climb. Ta-da! Do I want to be over here? Well, I can get back easier. I figured that's what that little pinhole was going to do. Okay. More caves. A crap ton of those guys. Let's see if I can get the horn before I have to deal with all those. Because the horn will supposedly pacify them. I'm sure the game wouldn't bring it up if it weren't true. Now where in the grand scale of things does this lead? There's no turn there. Basically meaningless to me. And I did not jump. And I'm I'm really not comfortable trying to fight that many Burroks all at once. I could try to do it the hard way and split them up and try to engage them like that, but I don't wanna. So rather that they weren't there. I didn't see anything. So that leads up there. I know how to get back to there. It's as simple as going around the other way. Going that way. Okay. So what about this way? That is a pit. Around for obvious traps. Nothing of the obvious nature. Yeah, I don't think I want to fall down there. Probably not good for my health. We have an alcove here. Takes us really high up. What's up here? A lot, suspiciously. <sighs> Nothing in the barrel. Nothing in that one. We've been there. There's a little alcove there. You can look over the side here. All right, what's in this little alcove?
the very, very, very easy way out. Good to remember. Going out there will count the mission as being completed. Alright, we'll go down the street hall now. So, we have our exit plan. So we don't actually have to deal with those burks to get out. Makes me wonder what they're hiding. Who knows, maybe they are hiding, the, maybe they have the horn itself and I do have to get through them to get the thing that'll tame them. Well, that'll have to be for next time. I will see you all later. This is Winamataku's saving and signing off. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.